Hello everyone, welcome to LRDI Prep. So in this video, we will continue our discussion of coin picking related problems. In the first video lesson, I explained to you the basic controlling factor concept. How can you decide the controlling factor directly uh, uh, using the shortcut or you can uh, also use the theoretical approach to decide the controlling factor. Now, we'll be discussing some more questions just for your practice. Uh, on the same concept and then we will be discussing the questions of uh, the different case where uh, the person picking the last coin is losing the game. This, this was a case where players who picks the last coin was losing the game. So we are left to discuss the case where the players picking the last coin is winning the game. That will be discussed in the next video. But here we will be discussing some more practice question based on the concept that we have already discussed. Let's start with this. Two smart players A and B are playing a coin game in which they can pick 1, 2, 3 or 4 coins. So number of coins are still kept the same. They have 103 coins and the players who pick the last coin will lose the game. So same question, same directions, right? The only change is this, that is 1, 0, 3 coins. So how will I solve this question? I will decide what is the controlling factor for A. And the direct method of finding the controlling factor is minimum number of coins that you can pick plus maximum number of points that you can pick multiplied by k plus minimum number of points that you can pick. So in this case, it will be minimum 1, maximum 4 multiplied by k plus minimum is 1. So controlling factor is still 5k plus 1. That means this is the number of coins that A want to leave on the table for B to pick. So these are the coins that B will be having on the, that B will be having on the table to pick from. So 5k plus 1. That means A want to leave, A want to leave a number of coins, a number on the table which is of the form of 5k plus 1. So total number of coins are 103. So tell me what should A pick so that finally A is going to leave uh, a 5k plus 1 number. Give me a number which on divide by 5 give you a remainder of 1 which is near to 103. That number is 101. So 5k plus 1 number is 101. So if A want to leave 101 coins on the table for B, so out of 103, how many coins he should pick? He should pick 2 coins. So straight away you can answer the question. The number of coins that A should pick would be 2 and his win will be independent of the number of coins that B is going to pick. Okay. So this was a this is what we discussed in the previous session. Now, what if the number of coins, you know, get changed, right? This is again a similar question. So let me give you, I, I gave this question as a homework to you to try this by yourself in the previous video. So again, what will you do in this question? You see that here the number of coins are 1005, right? So controlling factor is minima plus maxima into K plus one. That is 5K plus one. Now, Tell me a number which on being divided, which on being divided by 5 give you a remainder of 1. That number is 1001, right? So 5k plus 1 number is 1001. So if the number of coins placed on the table are 1005, so how many coins should B pick? How many coins should B pick? So, so, sorry, should A pick so that A is going to win the game? So tell me if A want to leave 1001 coins for B, then how many coins he should pick? 4 coins. So the answer to this question will be 4. I hope you tried these two questions, right? Now I'm taking you the next question here. The number of coins that a person can pick are 2, 3 or 4, not 1, 2, 3. It has been changed now to 2, 3 or 4. And they have 78 coins and the players who picks the last coin will lose the game. Now A and B plays alternatively and A plays the first move. How many coins should A pick at first? So his win is independent of the number of coins that B pick in his first move. Let's try to solve this question with both method. So our standard approach is the controlling factor will be minima, minimum number of coins plus maximum number of coins into K plus minimum number of coins. And that is 2 plus 4, 6 into K plus 2. So in this case, our controlling factor will be 6k plus 2. That means A want to leave 6k plus 2 number of coins on the table for B. What are the number of coins that you have on the table? The number of coins that you have on the table are 78. So tell me, uh, how many coins should A pick? 
a want to leave this formation of the number on the table now tell me a number which one being divided by 6 give you a remainder of 2 you see that 6 into 12 is 72 so if i want a remainder of 2 i will add the number i'll add 2 to this so the a number a number which is of the form of 6k plus 2 is 74 so if a want to leave 74 coins on the table how many should he pick from 78 he should pick four coins so answer to the question is four right this is the answer of the question okay uh let's try to derive that also just for your better understanding if i go with the alternative approach the other method right that if i don't know this right let's say let's see whether it's correct or not minima plus maxima into k plus minima let's try to derive that see there we have 78 coins left right so there are only two things that we need to take care that coins left for a coins left for a to pick left for a and then you have coins left for b coins left for b okay you see that in the last case i want a to have two coins because nobody have an option of picking one coin now so in the last last turn b should be leaving a should be leaving two coins for b so that b does not have any other option but to pick these two coins and lose the game so if a want to leave two coins for b then what should be the number of coins that a should get now if a should a is picking two coins and leaving two for b that means a should be getting four coins on the table the second case would be a is picking three coins and leaving two for b that means a should be getting five coins on the table a is picking four coins and leaving two for b that means a should be getting six coins on the table right okay now before that what should b be getting now whatever number of coins that b pick if b is picking two coins on one of these numbers should come if b is picking three coins one of these numbers should come if b is picking four coins one of these numbers should come now tell me whatever number of coins that should be placed on the table so that whatever number of coins that b pick a is definitely going to have any of these numbers now tell me b picking two coins and leaving six behind that means that means b is having eight coins on the table now if the number of coins placed on the table are eight if a b is picking two coins a will have his number six if b is picking three coins a will have his number five if b is picking two uh, four coins a will have his number four right and now what will a be getting now a want to leave eight coins for b so what should be the number of coins that he should get on the table so now if a pick two coins and leave behind eight the number of coins on the table should be 10 if a picks three coins and leave behind eight that means the number of coins on the table should be 11 a picks four and leave eight a should be getting 12 so if a is getting any of these coins whatever number of coins a pick b will be left with eight now after this after this you see that what what should be the number of coins that b should be having on the table so that whatever number of coins b pick a is going to have these three numbers if a if b pick two coins you need 12 on the table that is 14 now you see that if i take a value 14 here if b is picking three coins a will be having the number 11 if b is picking four coins a will be having the number 10 so this is the controlling factor for a and you see that 2 8 14 2 8 14 right 2 plus 6 8 plus 6 right 8 plus 6 so this is series of 6 uh, this is series with a gap of 6 and all these numbers all these numbers are of the form of 6k plus 2 which we derive directly using our concept minima plus maxima into k plus minima right so if you can keep this in mind right then you don't need to do this all but this will be applicable only in the case of where the person picking the last coin is losing the game right now there is one more question for you you have this two players uh, a and b are playing a coin game in which they can pick up to three or four coins they have 684 coins and the players who picks the last coin will lose the game okay so same rules but the number of coins are two three four and this number is 684 and a plays the first move how many coins should a pick at first so his win is independent okay so again our controlling factor would be minima plus maxima into k plus two right that is plus minima 
So this is 6k plus 2. Now I need a number which on dividing by 6 give you a remainder of 2. So you have 684 coins on the table. Now tell me what should be the number of coins A pick so that he leave a number which is of the form of 6k plus 2 for B. Tell me a 684 when divided by 6, what is the remainder that you'll be getting? 6 into 1, right? 8 into 6. This is exact multiple of 6, right? So therefore if I want a remainder of 2, right if i want a remainder of 2 i need to leave 682 coins right if i divide 682 by 6 the remainder that will be that will be get that i'll be getting would be four, uh, 2 i need a remainder of 2 right uh, 682 when divided by 6 the remainder would be 4 right but i need a remainder of 2 so it has to be 680 right it has to be 680 so 680 when divided by 6 will give you a remainder of 4. 680 when divided by 6 will give you a remainder of 4. Right? Okay. Let me do a second. Yes. Uh, sorry. Uh, a remainder of 2. 680 when divided by 6 will give you a remainder of 2. So now A want to leave 680 coins for B. A want to leave 680 coins for B because this number is of the form of 6k plus 2. So out of 684 coins, how many he should pick? He should pick 4 coins. So 4 will be the answer of the question, right? So these are the questions, right? Now second case is the players who pick the last coin will win the game. What if this is the second case that we'll be discussing where the person picking the last coin is going to win the game. I'll be discussing the complete concept in the next video, right? Uh, what would be the controlling factor? How to derive the controlling factor in this case? You also try to do this by yourself. If you can do it by yourself, that would be great, right? That means you understood the complete concept. You don't need to, you know, uh, cram all those basics, you know, of controlling factor minima plus maxima into k plus minima. You can also derive it by yourself, right? So try it once and the complete concept will be discussed in the next video. Thank you so much for watching this video. Please share the channel with all of your friends. Also subscribe to the channel and click on the notification button. LRDS Mir is my referral code to get 10% off on Unacademy Plus purchase. Thank you so much for watching the video. Thank you.